Hi everyone, thanks for watching. This video is going to show how to set up an MLA format paper, much like this one, in Microsoft Word. Now, if you start out with a brand new document in Microsoft Word, what you'll notice is that it is not set up for students, meaning it's not going to default to your MLA or even APA style. Now, they do offer a template, um, and I have a separate video that I'll put a link to in the description, and it shows you how to use that template. But I do realize that templates are not for everyone. I'm actually one of those people who doesn't like to work out of a template. I like to just own the format of the document from start to finish. So let's get started. One of the first things you'll notice about Microsoft Word is that it's going to try to put this Calibri font in there at all times. So from the very start, what I like to do is just update this normal style up in the styled menu here. And you want to modify it, change the font type to Times New Roman, make sure it's font size 12, and save that. So now that we have the font set to Times New Roman and we can see that it's font size 12 here, the next thing we need to do is make sure that the layout of our document and the paragraph spacing is correct. So the first thing you're going to check is this layout tab up here and make sure that your margins are set to one inch all around. In Microsoft Word, they call that normal. Glad we agree. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your paragraph spacing is correct. So if you come back to the home tab up here in the ribbon, there's this... Uh, paragraph with a couple arrows next to it, you want to click that and make sure that it's set to two. And what that means is there's going to be double spacing uh, between every line of each paragraph. Great, so our layout is set up and our paragraph spacing is set up. So the next thing we need to do is make sure that our header is set up. Now in Microsoft Word, you can set that up by double clicking the top inch of the document. And we need to make sure that it's right aligned. So you can either hit Command R if you're on a MacBook, Control R on a Windows machine, or come to the Home tab and hit this Right Alignment button here. It'll say Align Right when you hover over it. And then you want to type your last name. Now, MLA format wants your last name and a page number. So the next thing we need to do is come back to this Header and Footer tab, since you're already in the header. Click this Page Number drop down. Click Page Number. And you want to keep it on right alignment and just basically keep the default settings here. So luckily it's kind of already defaulting to what MLA requires. So if you hit OK, you can see that added in the page number here. So if you double click under this blue line, it's going to put you back in the body of the document. The next thing that MLA wants is your full name, meaning first and last name, your professor's name, the name of your class, and today's date written in the small to large format, meaning it's date, month, year. So if you hit enter, it brings you down to a new line. And what we need to do now is put the title of our document in center. So there's this center align button here, and you want to click that. You can also hit control or command E. And here you're going to put the title of your document. Now it comes to the body of your document, you hit enter, and you go back to left alignment. And basically, you just want to make sure that every paragraph indents a half inch. So you can do that by hitting tab when you put a new paragraph in, and that's going to indent it one half inch. Now through a little bit of movie magic, I'm going to populate the content of this document. Great, now I have the body of my document, and you can see here it's a couple pages long, and the header is actually updating, keeping my last name, but updating the page count in the top right corner. The last thing we need to do is make sure we have a works cited page. What you need to do is come to the end of the body of your document, and go to the insert tab, and hit this pages drop down, and then hit blank page. Now this can also be achieved with command enter or control enter on a Windows machine. Cool, so it inserted this new page, and now we need to give this page a title. So we're going to come back to center alignment and write works cited. Then we'll hit enter again, that places you on a new line, and you want to left align, and this is where you're going to paste your sources in. Now the tricky part about this is you need a hanging indent. And that's when the first line of your source is not indented, but as it goes on to a second and third line, 
those following lines are indented one half inch. So in Microsoft Word, it's kind of hidden, but it's pretty easy to set up once you figure it out. There's this indentation tool up here, and this down arrow, up arrow, and a square. So this up arrow is the left margin tool, and what you want to do is drag that in one half inch. So now that's set up for a hanging indent, and you can see if I were to type a source right here, it's going to put that hanging indent in for me. Sweet, so I've got a hanging indent here. And if I hit enter to add a new source, you can see that it also keeps that hanging indent. I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully this made your life a little bit easier so when you're up at 3 a.m. working on your paper, the format is the last thing you have to worry about. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I've got other helpful videos. Um, it supports this channel, helps me keep putting out videos like this. Thank you so much.